Samsung is the first in the world to mass produce and ship out three nanometer chips. The Korean tech giant believes the new technology can be a game changer in the global race to lead the industry. Um ji has the full story. The semiconductor industry is entering a critical new chapter. South Korea's Samsung Electronics has started to ship the world's first three nanometer chips. In a ceremony to mark the first shipments on Monday, the tech giant said the new technology will be a game changer in the semiconductor industry. This new technology is the key to continuously improving power efficiency and performance. Also, it is highly flexible and applicable to a variety of uses. Last month, the company announced that it had become the world's first to start mass producing semiconductors using a 3 nanometer process. Samsung used a new technique, its so-called gate all-around transistor architecture, to produce chips that are more powerful and efficient. Compared to conventional technology, these can reduce power consumption by up to 50 percent and can also improve performance by up to 30 percent. The official said the new technology will help the tech giant to become a leader in the foundry market or contract chip manufacturing. We expect the new technology to be the foundation for growth in semiconductor industry. It would also be the major driver for Samsung to become the leader in the foundry market. Samsung currently is the largest player in the global memory chip market, but it's second place in the foundry market. According to market tracker TrendForce, Samsung's foundry market share is about 16 percent. The market is dominated by its Taiwanese competitor TSMC, which accounts for more than half of it by revenue. An expert says to secure customers, Samsung should minimize its defect rate because Samsung and TSMC are competing for large multi-year orders from customers such as Qualcomm and Apple. The starting point for mass production is very important, as it helps gain time ahead of any competitors. TSMC is planning to start production of 3 nanometer chips at the end of this year, so it is six months behind. At Monday's ceremony, Minister of Trade, Industry and Energy said the new chips are significant in terms of the country's economic security. Going forward, South Korea will gain more stature in contributing to the global chip supply chain, not only in memory but also in system chips. The government last week announced an ambitious plan for the country to become a chip superpower. By 2026, tax benefits will be expanded to help firms to invest some 260 billion U.S. dollars in semiconductors and fund the establishment of semiconductor complexes. Om Ji-yong, Arirang News.